Hello, Ocho. Let's read the question. The question says here, an electromagnetic wave of wavelength lambda is incident on a photosensitive surface of negligible work function. So, if the photoelectrons emitted from this surface have the de Broglie wavelength lambda dash, then what will be the answer? Let's find out. So, as a first step, you could recall Einstein's photoelectric equation. As per the given condition, you could you could neglect the term representing the work function. So now substitute for the kinetic energy in terms of the momentum of the de Broglie wave and then rearrange to get the required expression. Okay. So we are given in the question an electromagnetic wave that has a wavelength of lambda. So this electromagnetic wave is incident on a photosensitive surface that has negligible work function. So we are also said that the emitted photoelectrons have a de Broglie wavelength of lambda dash. Okay. Then we are asked to find the correct correct expression among the given options. Okay. So firstly, let us recall Einstein's photoelectric equation, which is mathematically expressed as kinetic energy maximum Ke max is equals to H V minus phi naught this is equation one okay where ke max is the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photoelectrons so h is the Planck's constant v is the frequency of incident wave and phi naught is the work function of the surface on which the radiation is incident okay but here the surface is known to have negligible work function and also kinetic energy could be given by a max would be half mv square okay also the frequency can be given by v is equals to c by lambda that implies half mv square is equals to h c by lambda this is equation 2 okay but we know that exp expression for mo momentum is given by p is equals to mv okay so uh, equation 2 becomes p square p square by 2m is equals to hc by lambda this is equation 3 but we know another expression for the momentum of de Broglie wavelength of wavelength lambda dash as p is equals to h by lambda dash okay so by substituting in equation equation 3 gives h by lambda dash whole square whole divided by 2m is equals to h c by lambda okay so rearranging this uh, that implies lambda is equals to 2m lambda dash square divided by h square into h c therefore lambda is equals to 2m c divided by h into lambda dash square okay so therefore we found that the wavelength the wavelength of incident electromagnetic incident electromagnetic wave magnetic wave is given by the relation is given by the relation lambda is equals to 2 m c divided by h into lambda dash square okay so this is the answer option c is the correct answer thank you